Hello and welcome to Chair Yoga. I hope you're all having a good day today. My name's Debbie Mormon and I am going to lead you in a Chair Yoga class, um, kind of with a focus on the arms a little bit today and the neck, shoulders, um, along with some other stuff thrown in there. So as usual, please listen to and respect your body, only moving in ways that feel safe and okay in your body. Nothing should cause any sharp or burning pain. If that happens, stop doing what you're doing. Um, you're welcome to always stop, take a break, rest, watch for a while, or pause it and come back to it, whatever works for you. But please, I encourage you to make this your practice um, by making any modifications or adjustments that you feel like are needed for you today. Um, if you have a strap or a belt um, or a necktie, anything long and strappy, we're going to use that, I think, just for one thing today. So if you don't have it, no big deal. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's take a minute to get centered. So find an easy seated position. Check that the ankles are directly under the knees, the shoulders balanced over the hips, and the head balanced over the shoulders. And then just lower your gaze or close your eyes and take a minute to welcome yourself to your practice. And thank yourself for showing up on your chair today. And then maybe take a minute to set a mantra for your class today. Maybe it's, I am strong. I am resilient. I am calm. I am patient, whatever speaks to you today. Take a minute to come up with a mantra for your class today. And we'll take a little breath work. So bring the hands to the belly just below the navel. We're just gonna take some slow, deep breaths here, in through the nose, out through the nose, or out through the mouth, your preference. But really feel the belly expand on the inhale and gently contract on the exhale, then it relaxes. But focus on those deep, belly breaths. So the belly inflates like a balloon on the inhale and deflates on the exhale. So no shallow chest breathing here, full deep belly breaths. Slowing down and elongating the breath. Then bring the hands up a little bit to the ribs. So just below the breasts, feel the ribs there. And again, just feel the ribs expand on the inhale and draw back in on the exhale. Slow, deep breaths like that. Allowing the focus to be on the breath and within the body. Letting go of any extraneous thoughts, worries, problems. Set those to the side for the next little bit. And then bring the hands up to the chest area. Keep the shoulders soft and relax. And again, just feel the heart rise on the inhale and lower on the exhale. Perfect posture here.
and then relax the hands down. And we'll start with a little yoga for our eyes. So we're gonna keep the head stationary and we're gonna bring the gaze upward. So we're just looking up as high as you can with the eyes. You can blink as much as you need or want here, but just keep the gaze steady and up. And then bring the gaze back forward. And then we're going to take the eyes as far over to the right as you can and hold it there. And then bring the gaze back forward and take the gaze as far to the left as feels good for you. Hold the gaze to the left. And then bring the gaze back forward. And we'll lower the gaze down to the floor and hold the gaze down. and then bring the eyes back forward. I'm gonna take my glasses off. We're gonna rub the palms together to create some heat in the hands. So just rub, 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 till you feel some heat built up there. And then cup the eyes, close the eyes. And just let the eyes be soft in the sockets. release the hands. I'm going to put my glasses back on. And we're going to bring both arms forward with our thumbs pointed up. And we're going to follow the thumb with our eyes. So take a breath in. And on an exhale, we're going to open the right arm out to the right and back as far as feels good. And then inhale the right thumb back forward. Same thing, other side. Exhale. Gaze follows that left thumb as it reaches to the side and back. Inhale forward and we'll flow like that. So exhale, right arm back. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, left arm forward. If it doesn't feel okay to follow the gaze with your uh, follow the thumb with your gaze, then keep your head forward. One more to each side. Good. Relax the arms down. And we're just going to take a slow nod of the head. So like we're saying yes. But I don't want you to crank the head back when you lift the chin up. Lift the chin up and forward a little bit to protect your cervical spine. So on an inhale, we lift the chin up. Exhale, lower the chin down. Flow like that. Inhale, chin lifts up and forward. Exhale, down. So a nice slow nod of the head like you're saying yes. Say yes to your mantra. My mantra today is I am capable. So think about your mantra and affirming that mantra with this nod of the head up and down. One more. And bring the head back to neutral. And now we're gonna say no. <laughs> so we're gonna take the head to the right as far as we can on an inhale and exhale, look as far as you can to the left. So the whole head is moving. Inhale right, exhale left. So 
So maybe we imagine now that we're saying no to all the self-doubting, negative self-talk that keeps us from achieving our mantra. Good, come back neutral and we're just gonna switch the inhales and the exhales. So now we inhale as we look left and exhale as we look right. Let's take two more rounds of that. And we'll come back to neutral. And we're going to just drop the right ear to the right shoulder. And we're gonna bring the right hand up to the left side of the head. And we're gonna extend the left arm down and out to a diagonal. So that right hand is not forcing anything here. It's just giving a little gentle pressure to help gravity here. Breathing into the left side of the neck, feeling that deep stretch and sensation in the left side of the neck. Then bring the left hand back to your lap. Release the right hand and bring the right hand to the right cheek and just help the head back up to neutral. Take a minute to notice the difference between the left side and the right side of your neck. And then of course we'll even it out. So drop the left ear to the left shoulder the left hand's gonna come up to the right side of the head, and the right arm goes down and out at a diagonal. And now we allow our focus to land on the sensation in the right side of the neck. Deep with your slow, deep, even breath. Bring the right hand back to the lap. Release the left hand, left hand to the left cheek and help the head back upright. Release both hands. We'll drop the chin straight down to the chest. And then we're just gonna roll the chin toward the right shoulder and then roll the chin toward the left shoulder. So the head stays tilted forward. We're just kind of making a half circle with the chin. back to the chest and on an inhale we lift it up. Extend both arms straight out, wiggle your fingers and then we're going to still the fingers and just make some small circles backward with the arms and then we're going to gradually make those circles bigger and bigger bigger and as big as you can. Inhale as they rise, exhale as they lower. And relax the arms. And then we'll take those circles in the opposite direction. So again, reach the arms long, wiggle those fingers, and then take your small circles forward. 
nice and gradual. Make those circles a little bit bigger. Relax the shoulders down. Gradually getting those circles bigger until they're as big as they can get. One more and relax. Maybe take a minute to lower the gaze or close the eyes. And yeah, maybe you shake out the arms a little bit. And back to stillness. And blink open the eyes and let's take the knees to a wide angle. We're going to extend both arms out to the side again and we're going to follow that right hand on an inhale as it crosses the body and on an exhale it's like we're drawing the bow from a bow and arrow and extend it out. Same thing on the left. So the gaze follows the left hand over to the left. We pull our bow and it extends out to the left. And that's our flow. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Couple more times to each side. Last time. Good. Relax the arms down. Take three shoulder rolls in each direction. Keeping our legs at a wide angle. And again, we're going to extend the arms out. And it's almost like we're going to take off a scarf. We're going to bring the hands forward around the neck and extend them back out. And just kind of alternate which hand is on top. One more to each side. And relax the arms down. Good, go ahead and walk the feet back together. We're gonna bring the arms up overhead. We're gonna interlace the fingers, reach the knuckles up towards the ceiling. And on an exhale, the hands come to the back of the head. And on an inhale, we find a little arch in the back here. And then come back up to neutral. Hands come to the knees, scoop out the belly and round the back. Chin drops, shoulder blades widen. Good. Again, inhale, arms up, interlace. Exhale, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, reach the elbows back, arch the back a little bit, keep the belly in and the, and the tailbone pointed down to the chair. Exhale, release the hands, take a little cat pose. And inhale, arms up, interlace. Exhale, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, cat pose. One more time. Inhale, arms up, interlace. Exhale, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, arch. Exhale, cat. And come on back to neutral. We're gonna bring our, our elbows close to our side ribs and the palms pointed up so it's like we're holding a tray 
and we're gonna inhale the arms straight forward. Exhale, they're gonna come out to the side, twist around and come back to tray. So inhale, extend, exhale, reach it back, twist it around. Two more. Back to neutral. We're gonna take our arms to cactus arms and we're gonna bring the right hand to the left shoulder and we're gonna gaze to the right as far as we can and then come back to cactus and neutral head. Exhale, left hand to the right shoulder and gaze to the left. Inhale to cactus. Exhale, gaze right. One more to each side. the hands to the thighs. Check in with yourself. How you feeling? And then we'll do a similar move, but the right hand comes to the left knee and we gaze to the right. Back through center. Left hand to the outside of the right knee. Gaze to the left. to each side. And come back to center. And we'll do a little bit of a brain teaser. Kind of, not really. We're going to inhale, reach the right arm up by the right ear like you're picking an apple. Draw it down to the body and Drop it out to the side. Right arm reaches up, grab another apple, bring it in, and we're gonna give it away. So it just comes out forward. Good. Inhale, pick your apple. Exhale, put it on the floor. So that's gonna be our flow. So left arm reaches up, grabs our apple, draw it in and drop it out to the side. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, give it away. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, put it on the floor. Inhale, right arm, reach it up. Exhale, drop it to the side. Inhale it up. Exhale, give it away. Inhale it up. Exhale, put it on the floor left side. Inhale, arm reaches up. Exhale, drop it to the side. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, give it away forward. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, put it on the floor. One more time, both sides. center. Let's take the knees wide again. And we're going to take a forward fold here. So a wide leg forward fold. So options are the elbows to the knees and the head hangs heavy like this. Or maybe the hands travel to the earth 
and the head hangs heavy. Or you can put a book or a block or a footstool to bring the earth up closer to your hands, whatever works for you. But just focus on your slow, deep breaths here. Maybe connect again with your mantra that you set today. are on the floor or a block, go ahead and bring the elbows back up to the knees so we rise up nice and slow. And then hands come to the knees and we lift it all up. Go ahead and heel toe the legs back parallel. If you have a strap or a block, uh, a belt or a boat, a uh, tie, whatever works. We're gonna bring the arms, so grab each end of the strap in your arms, and the arms are kind of like a Y, kind of like Y-M-C-A, right? So relax the shoulders down, draw the belly in, lengthen the spine, and we're just gonna kind of go side to side. So we're waking up the side body here. So on an exhale, we uh, lean to the left and the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend to the right. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Keep going. Take one more time to each side. And release it down. And we'll take some uh, big circles with our strap here. So again, the wider your grip, the less intense it's going to be on the shoulder. So maybe start with the with the grip pretty wide. And we're gonna inhale the arms up and back. Maybe it comes all the way around and we relax. And then circle the arms back, up and forward and down. So if you're doing this and you're not feeling it too much, you can shorten the grip on your strap. Inhale up, exhale back and down. Inhale up and forward and down. One more. Good. Relax it. Just take a minute to rest. Notice how you're feeling here. You can go ahead and set your strap to the side. That's all we needed it for today. We're going to take some sun salutations. So we're going to inhale both arms up by the ears. Exhale the arms to cactus. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale any kind of forward fold that feels good to you. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Shoulders come away from the ears, spine is long and straight. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. And hands to heart center. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale to cactus, inhale, 
Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, find your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And if, the, if it's too hard to inhale the arms wide and flat back all the way up, keep the hands on the legs to help you rise up. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more time for that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, the cactus. Inhale. Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, rise it up. And hands to heart center. So same thing with just one little change. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms straight. Left arm comes forward, right arm goes back. So that's our twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, straight arms twist to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more. Exhale, straight arm twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, straight arm twist left. Inhale it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up and hands to heart center. Last time. Twist right. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms wide, flat back, all the way up and hands to heart center. Take a minute, call to mind your mantra, let everything be soft. And release the arms. Maybe scoot back in your chair so that more of your, uh, the back of your thigh is supported. And we're just gonna bring the right leg straight out in front and make some circles with the right ankle. All those pops and cracks and creaks are good. Circle the other way. Good, release the right leg. Left leg extend straight forward and make some circles with your left ankle. And circle the other way. And release that down. So we'll add on to that. So the right leg lifts, the left arm lifts, and we circle the left wrist and the right ankle. Change directions. It's kind of hard to coordinate those. <laughs> Relax it all down. Left leg extends up, right arm extends up by the right ear and circle. Right wrist and left ankle. And change directions. Good, relax it all down. And now we're gonna do all of it at one time. So both legs extend out, both arms extend up, and circle both wrists, both ankles. And other way. And relax 
sit down. All right, so we're gonna take, um, we're gonna stand up and we're gonna take downward facing dog with the back of our chair. And then we're gonna practice all three warrior poses. So we're starting with down dog. So the hands come to the back of the chair and the legs walk back so that you're almost making the letter L with your body. Focus on increasing the length in your spine. Maybe you uh, push the ribs out side to side to encourage that length in the spine. The knees can be bent here if that feels better in the backs of your legs or the legs are straight, doesn't matter. We're more uh, concerned about the length in your spine than whether your legs are straight or not. Slow, deep, even breaths. Good. Then nice and easy, rise the torso up and we're gonna step the right foot forward. We're gonna flatten the left foot so the left toes are at a bit of a diagonal. The hands are both still on the back of the chair and then we're gonna bend into that right knee. So the heel to heel alignment, if that's too too much if you're challenged with balance, you can widen the stance. Lift the head up and you can play with lifting one arm, maybe the other arm. Keep alternating arms or maybe both arms come up for a full expression of the warrior one pose. Release the hands to grab the back of the chair. We're gonna pivot on that left heel. So now the left foot is parallel to the left side wall. The hips are squared toward the front of the room. Right hand still hangs on with that chair and we're gonna bend into the right knee. So the right heel intersects with the arch of the left foot. Maybe the left arm extends back. So this is our supported warrior two pose. Slow, deep, even breaths. Relax the shoulders down. The right hand can keep holding onto the chair or the right arm lifts and you gaze over the right fingertips. That right leg may be starting to get a little bit tired, right? Good. Bring both hands back to the chair. Scooch that left foot up a little bit. And maybe the right leg comes back. And we're gonna play with warrior three. So that left leg extends straight back. Forearms can come to the back of the chair. Right leg is still working really hard here, but reach back through that left heel and release the left foot down. Come on up, stand up, shake it out. Relax everything before we take it on the other side. So all three warriors to the left now. So the left foot stays up by the chair. Right foot takes a big step back, heel to heel alignment or wider. Right toes are at a diagonal. And then we bend into that left knee, avoiding the knee going beyond the ankle. Good, stay here with the hands on the back of the chair, or maybe the right arm lifts. Maybe the left arm lifts. Alternate the arms again, or maybe both arms come up by the ears, hips are pointing toward your chair. So that's drawing the right hip forward, the left hip back. 
and release the hands to the chair. Pivot a little bit on that right foot. So now the left heel intersects with the arch of the right foot. Hips are squared forward. Right arm extends back. Bend into that left knee any amount. Left hand can stay on the chair or the left arm extends forward and gaze over the left fingertips. Good, if the left arm is up, lower it to the chair, bring the right hand to the chair, set the right foot up, left foot back, and then we extend the right leg back Reach through the right heel as you root down through the left foot. Lengthen the spine. Call to mind your mantra. And lower it down. And we'll come back to sit down on our chair. And we're just gonna lift and drop our legs. So this is a good one to do if you're on an airplane or in a car for a long time to sort of get the circulation going in your legs again. So both hands reach behind the right um, thigh and we're just gonna lift so the right leg stays loose, lift the right leg off the floor and drop it. Other side, lift the left leg and drop it. Let's just do that a few times to each side. Keep the legs like noodles. One more to each side. One more. Let's take the legs wide again. And we're gonna play with just lifting the toes and the heels here. So lift the heels. And maybe you pretend like you're tiptoeing on the toes. So one leg lifts, the other leg lifts. Spine is long and straight, belly's drawn in. And relax it down, take a breath. And then the other way. So now the toes lift, the heels are rooted. Keep lifting those toes up off the floor any amount. And then we walk on our heels. So we're just lifting and lowering only the heel to the floor. If you need to hold on to the back of the chair, feel free to do that or the seat of the chair. Lifting and lowering, heels touching. And relax it down, heel toe the legs back together. You made it through class. Now for the best part, our Shavasana. Our final relaxation and meditation. So remember your options here are to stay seated with the spine long and straight, ankles under the knees. You're also welcome to lie on the earth, on your back if that feels okay, or put your head on your table or your desk. Just take a minute to fidget and move until you can settle into stillness in a comfortable position. And just take a minute to scan the body from the head all the way down to the toes, just allowing the effects of the class to reverberate in the body. Notice if anything has shifted or softened. 
And with each exhale, allow yourself to feel a little bit heavier and heavier. And our meditation today is written by Joanna Gaines from the Magnolia Journal. And she says, we don't have to be afraid to step away, to lay down the loads we carry. We don't have to fear the silence that may come when we choose moments of peace over progress. Rest is not a sign of weakness if it's the very thing that makes us strong. Like the winter river with the still frozen top and waters that never stop running inside. When we are at rest, the most important work is being done. Sometimes a shift in pace is all we need to show us what's next and the steps we could take. With the season's thaw will come a powerful rush, the thrill of seeing what growth has come when it seemed we were at rest. So we'll take a couple more minutes of rest here. savoring the rest, learning from our rest. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Invite some small movements to your fingers and to your toes. Just gently bringing yourself back from that rest. And as you're ready, reach the arms up by the ears, the legs out in front. Give yourself a big stretch, reaching in both directions. And then soften it all down. If you're on the floor, bring yourself up to an easy seated position and we'll all press our palms together in front of our heart center as our gesture of closing this sacred time you made for yourself that we shared together. Call to mind again the mantra that you set for yourself at the beginning of class and repeat that mantra three times to yourself. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace, because it's also within me. And in sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste. Thank you. Hope you're feeling good and... I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.